Okay, I guess wait, right? But retiring, I afforded masters every service. Yeah, we don't really make money. So let's just help out my boss and then depart. So should I go to... I don't have anything that sells there, do I? Now let's head to Ares then. Oh, Athens, I mean. Okay, I've heard of them. Of course, everyone's heard of them, right? The Orient Express Company ran a spur line from Budapest that swept down the length of Europe to Athens. It originally stopped midway at Belgrade, Bal grade, but since the city's almost total destruction, yeah, let's get some exposition in this house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. But since the city is almost total destruction in the last confrontation between the Austro-Hungarians and Ottomans, the train now went straight through. It was a wonder there was not more bombs. Such destruction. Let's go with destruction. Wow, what a lot of destruction. Such destruction it had been. It was to be hoped taught the powers that be a lesson about tolerance. Okay, let's converse. Why not? So I'm just chatting with a random lady on the bus. She's working, dude. I thought I was going to talk to Fong. Greetings, Madame God. Show me your ticket first, please, Monsieur. How can I help? I need to know about Athens. <sighs> okay, so... Mm, what about Athens to Dubai? Is there a route... From Athens to Dubai, did you realize that you can pick up demojongs from of olive oil in Dubai that will sell for fortune in Bandar Abbas? Ooh. Ooh. Is there a route from Athens to Metro Valley? Yes, my child, sweetheart, and quite an adventure in the. Yes, my childhood sweetheart had quite an adventure in the carriage from Athens to Metro Valley. Apples, an apple, my guard. What a marvelous idea! What more can you tell me about Athens? I find your accent confusing. Uh, let's go to Juji, I guess. Is it possible to travel to Juji? I think you're out of luck there anyway. You're holiday makers? Yes. Let me come into the egging cost. I grew up there. Most beautiful. Never mind that. Some buyer will pay well for magnetic compasses from Antalya. Okay. Is it possible for good Antus to Tunis? I'm afraid I have to go now. Okay. See ya. Despite knowing to expect it, I could not help but grasp at our sweep through the the husk is Belgrade. It's seen homely, only to ghost. Trees and bushes grew from the tall buildings and through empty window frames, but we did not spy a single human being. Quiet. Quite what had happened, no one truly knew. The roads, houses, viaducts were all still standing. The gas lamps still burned. Not a single voice cried out, and not a door or shutter moved. I asked Monsieur Fonk his thoughts. Then he sighed. I fear that our age is seeking great experimentation and warfare, such as in every other wake of life. I hope you're wrong. Yeah, gosh, gosh, I hope you're wrong. Yet I am not, he replied. 
but at least the trains move faster. His answer seemed to me as bleak as Belgrade itself, but as the Orient Express left it behind, it carried us toward the long evening of gentle wines and candlelight, which went some way towards lightening the soul, which I can barely stomach. Let's be bright and happy. Remember, happiness makes life better. Okay, should I converse more? Or, wait, I'm gonna try conversing. What is your wish, Master? Possible toll? Begin conversation about three. How's your progress, Miss Lord? Day 12, I believe our journey continues. However, funds, we are quite comfortable in that saying. We have been most cautious so far. Good! I was unsure whether 4,000 or basically 5,000 at this point was good or not. We arrived at Thessaloki Station in northern Greece in the morning. A few passengers embarked, but we stayed put. I mean, there's a reason. Intending to reach Athens and then take one of the many sea routes into Turkey or Egypt. The journey to Athens took the rest of the day. I think the gauge of the rails grew narrower as it negotiated the winding cliff sides of Greece. This country appears to be entirely made of coastline. A more delightful spot? I cannot imagine. We were well catered for, of course, and arrived feeling most refreshed. Yeah, relations with Frog were good. Good. I'm glad. He was really upset at me at that one point. Silly Frog. Yes, let's waste our money. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I may regret this one day. Okay, let's sleep, I guess. Maybe we have to go to Metro Valley. My master was not, as a rule, particularly interested in the fabulous locals and exotic cities we journey through. Athens was the exception that proved the rule. His sudden interest was not limited to the city. He fixed me to look. Do you speak Greek? I had spent a glorious summer with a Greek contortionist. Yeah, let's let's go into the details. You could most abscus pontiers. Nos oui. My sweet monsieur, I smiled sharply. Repeating a few of the phrases talking about in Parmal, Monsieur Fogg blushed vermilion. That passeportor, he cleared his throat, is a very specialized vocabulary. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Despite my master's grasp of ancient Greek, the demotic variant more commonly spoken on the streets eluded him. We were reduced to asking for directions to the combination of mimes. Yes, can I go to um place thing that way? Also, I'm glad we can understand their language. That's that's great for me. I was half worried that all things would be, like, the same. Asking for directions through a combination of mime, moi, opposite quotations from Homer, my master, and half-remembered flattery, moi and qua, and cor. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! My master basically was just talking to them in 
ancient Greek philosopher talk. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> we picked our way through the labyrinthine streets of Palaka and up the to the Acropolis. I gazed at the Pantheon and watched Monsieur Fong. I'm gonna watch him because this, like, if you've ever seen someone who's really intensely excited about something in a place filled with something that's really intensely exciting to them, you'll understand why he'll probably look crazy cute in this instance. And so even though I won't be able to see it, I want my character to see how excited this guy is going to be. Especially since normally he's like silent and poised and not really caring about anything. It'll be exciting. Gosh, this will be so exciting. I watched Monsieur Fogg as he looked up upon the Pantheon's magnificent columns. Though his lips did not so much as twist, he looked for a brief moment joyous. See? Gosh! I knew it! I knew it! This is exciting! I love this! I knew it! See? I'm gonna do it! I knew it! Yeah, I knew! I knew under that icy exterior that Englishman's reserve looked soul. It was impossible to feign such joy, and we stood admiring the architecture I was really knocked into by a small man with thick glasses. So I can either be rude, watch yourself, monsieur, or I caught him in case he should fall. I could. I'm going to catch him, because if he's a thief, then I've got my arm on him anyway, so. I caught his arm in case he should fall, and he smiled and thanked me quickly. My apologies, my apologies, he murmured. Take more care in the future, I advised. The man nodded. Indeed, I shall hundred apologize. He put out his hand to shake. Kimichi Tsofos, I am the owner of a modest shipping freight company based here. And to where do you sail? Yeah. So for smiled and pulled a pamphlet out of his jacket that detailed the routes and timings. The one of most interest was aboard sailing Cairo, which was leaving the next day. I thanked him and promised to see him in the morning. A man with sea legs. He beamed and wobbled away. A man with sea legs, I observed. Monsieur Fogg, still gazing longingly at the Pantheon, did not reply. I doubted he noted a word of the entire exchange. You know, I kind of like the idea that my character is like... You know how Watson is characterized as the character who flirts with all the girls? My character is the person who flirts with all the peoples. Because why not? That sounds hilarious. Okay, let's really quickly see. Open this, see where I need to go. Moscow. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. So let's head to Cairo. way to Sofo's ferry terminal in a good time and waved a greeting to the owner who was visiting to inspect his fleet. Hespotol, he cried cheerfully. You will join with me and drink some restina? Monsieur sort of lifted an eyebrow but said nothing. Yes! That would be most enjoyable. Monster Frog lifted an eyebrow but said nothing. That would be most enjoyable, I told him, never one to refuse a toast. My master shook his head, just the tiniest fraction, before spying a local cafe and placing himself down outside it. It would not normally abandon my master, but there was something in Safo's manner. Um, oh no! 
Oh no. Oh no. See, okay. I play a ton of games where you can romance people, so my brain always immediately goes to that. And like, I don't think this is a romance game, though it is in the romance, it has romance tags, so I don't know what's all that about. But, um, so like, I wouldn't want to ruin a possible romance with the main, with the master dude. Just to toast with this dude, but, but, but I'm just being nice! I'm gonna do. I would not normally abandon my master, but there was something in Sophos manner that hinted at more than just a desire for society, and my instincts were quite correct. Oh my god, he's trying to steal me away from my master! Or from. What? Oh yeah, Monsieur Frog! He leaned forward. Listen, Pospota. Tolt. I don't know how to pronounce that. I could use a man like you. Discreet, loyal. I nodded, recognizing the description of myself. I laughed politely. I'm gonna laugh politely. <laughs> Thinking this little man's spectacles were perhaps not thick enough. It's no laughing matter, he hissed seriously. One of the men who works for me in Antilia is a man named Fontaine. He is bent to manage the import and export of black olives, but I do not think that is all he is importing. Oh, okay, so he's not trying to steal me. Okay, cool. What can I do to help? I asked, intrigued. I need an outsider, a stranger, someone who cannot be connected to me, but with a keen eye and an honest streak. And then I met you, young for support to tell me. Will you help me? The master needs me, I replied. I cannot go taking on other jobs. See, loyal, right? I see, he answered, nodding slowly. He pulled a long glow of wallet from his pocket and laid it on to tell me. No! No, loyal! He's... You want a loyal person! Oh my god! Did you think I can be bought out and I'm really that necessary for the job? Then what is it you want? He asked Puckle. We are going around the world. I told him, we need passport connection speed. Very well, then he agreed. From Antalya, take the boat to Brut. I will meet you there with a private airship to carry you as far as Manama. From there, it is a fast boat to Bombay. Cool, this works for me. He slapped me on the shoulder and sent me back to Montreal Fog. We clambered about aboard Sophie's ferry, finding some space between barrels of olives and large packing crates that smelled of fish. Soon the rope slipped from its rings and we were away. This sounds fun. Oh, besides the fact that this will this stop in highly oh, there's a reason I was going this way in the first place. Oh hey, it's this girl. What can you tell me of Antalya? Antalya is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Tell you to back down. Is it possible to go from Tilly to Baghdad? No idea, but now Baghdad is on the border of the Ottoman Empire and the Parisian Am Allies. Tehran. Is it possible to go to Tehran? Oh no, I have Tehran. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Sophos was true to his word. Somewhere in the midst of the Aegean was turned about until a few hours later we were arriving on the coast of Turkey. Once your fog seemed perturbed by this turn of events, but did not mutter a word as we disembarked. Are we still on the ship wall on land? Because that's so silly. going there. Oh, which is why I would want to go to Cairo. Okay, I'm going to buy that as well. Oh, wow, he 
got bad fast. Okay, so we're sleeping. I spent my afternoon rambling around Kaleki, the historical center of Antalya, which was where I happened upon a group of Turkish dockhands unloading crates of Venetian goods into our house flying the French bag. They had a passable gas with French. Let's go talk about them. No doubt a prerequisite of working for the French employer, one Monsieur Fontaine. Though we've never met though we've never met him, one of them added bitterly. I had found Monsieur Sofos curious Monsieur Fontaine after a fashion at least at least that So pretend that I am Monsieur Fontaine. Let's go with this. Is he a good employer? asked politely, trying to discover what I could, but the manner raised immediate suspicion. Why do you ask a doctor in firebath crossing the streets? Perhaps you are. Oh my god, his name is Passport I thought it was like his No, he's he's a val Sure, why not? You found me out! <laughs> the sword of Monsieur Fontaine of my imaginings would boom. Alas, behind his bluff exterior, he had only recently severed heartbreak. Oh my god. Such an and pathetic fellow he was, prone to making friends. Ooh, yeah, let's do friends, because friends tell friends stuff. Such emphatic fellow he was, prone to making friends and acts of random generosity. Alas, my invented backstory saw me doing out banknotes to these dockhands quite haphazardly. Thus was I scound in my role. I spent a cheerful, if deceptive, afternoon getting to know my employees and inspecting my merchandise. They cracked open a crate to reveal a treasure trove of Venetian glass, glittering blue green in the sun. Is this all? I demanded in some surprise time forget where's the rest of it? Oh Yeah, leave don't say special shipment because they'll wonder about it. Do not presume to trifle with me, I laughed, I replied heartily, hoping my manner would impress them into some revelation. But the foreman only shook his head. This is all, monsieur. The boxes are labeled as olives, of course, and we all know that's not what they are, but it's glass. Only glass. I took a piece. Oh no! My mouse stopped working. Seriously? Why? Oh, okay, well... I'm just gonna use my arrow keys because my mouse stopped working. I took a piece from myself, turning it over in my palm indeed. It was merely glass. A curious development. Would this news be enough to earn us passage for Monsieur Frost's airship from Vuret? Your funds have gone down a little. Your character is now polished. I walked the streets while discovering the possibilities for how we might make progress. I'll tell ya. Okay, let's plan. took a room and settled in, and I attended to Monsieur Fogg. Yeah, let's attend to him. He seems sad.
Okay, let's depart. The Nefertiti was a small mass Egyptian clipper that sailed around the coastline from Antilia all the way to Alexandria. I asked the skipper if you couldn't through the longer voyages. Via the Suez Canal, but he only laughed. The fees, young man, are quite extraordinary. I could not argue with that. Greetings, Captain. Passport to come join me. Butte Cairo. One can also travel this way to Cairo, I understand. On the subject boats, I've heard there is an irregular service from Ostrup to Baku. Is it possible to go from Cairo to Rydia? I doubt it, but answer me. Is it do you like puzzles? Yes. Indeed, I do. I find them exercising one mind wonderfully. Mine is called Nina, and there is nothing and everything wonderful about her. Luxor. Is it possible to go from Cairo to Luxor? I do not know, but there is neither bank nor market in Luxor. Is there a way to go from Cairo to Alexandria? Did you know some buyer will pay well for some spices from Alexandria? Yimi drew on and the crew served gin slinging with great cheer, the captain nodding to me as liquor was poured. Enjoy, he called. I saluted him with my glass and savored the cool drink as the sun went down in fire and smoke across the sea. Okay. found no true hotel, only a boarding house of rooms around a central courtyard which, in which a fountain danced and various people sat, talked in hushed tones. As I looked about, I found something suspect in every pair of eyes I met. Naturally, I was curious. I introduced myself to a likely looking pair. They had just arrived from Baghdad and were full of glorious of that city. Tell me more, why not? I demanded. Oh no! A shame, I think, we shall miss this city altogether. The women seem surprised. There are not many other ways to go from here. The boat to Cairo on the airship to Hull, but it is a slow ride by camel into the desert and Riyadh from here. Madame Zir and her male companion took their leave from the fountain, insisting or recommending a spawn town where we might find a driver to back there before going. I was left sitting behind, beside the fountain, listening to the whispers plot until I retired. Yeah, let's go to Heil because I have a thing that'll send for self at seven thousand there. We departed brood on an Ottoman Gaik airship. The envelope was painted all over with interlocking geometric patterns, which continued into the quarters inside. We like thicker to whirl. I could feel the rumble of the engine. Let's do the light flickered a little. A very dense, cool gas yellow, unsurprising perhaps, as the Gaics were cold gas rather than steam powered. A useful feature since so much um, had was land was desert. Greetings, Captain. My good passport. Sure. I've gathered it's a slow ride by Hamilton's. God mentioned animals. I've been told you can get some moose cat from Dubai by port travel, but the journey is tiring. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it possible to go from Ruby to Kali? No idea, but now the Ruby is the largest sand desert in the world. Is there a route from Ruby to Nova Goa? Nova Goa. 
Look here, there isn't a bank to be found in Nova Goa. A shot of poison for you, Captain? Most generous. Where are you we must get? Oops, that's not my... Oh, well. I looked on the control room more spacious than the European standard, but similarly arrayed with altimeters, gas valve controls, inclinometers, gyroscopes, I waved to the captain, cleared my throat. Let's clear my throat, that's the polite thing. The crew ignored me resolutely. Excuse me, I said loudly. One of the crew looked over. Can I help you? The crewman asked. Is passable French? What can you tell me about? Oh, the crewman shrugged. Not much. It's a much nicer place than the other surrounding room. What's the best way to cross the... Which places do you mean? Don't go to Muscat, he answered. And if you do, don't fall in with any pirates. They'll strip you bare, happened to my uncle. A low buzzer began to sound, and the captain began barking orders as we descended. The crewman excused himself, and I paced the observation deck until we docked at our destination, the desert settlement of Halil in the Al Rashid Emirate. Have a gorgeous night, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, press like. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. Otherwise, have a gorgeous day, and I'll see you later.